Hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, Senators All Access, live from the Lexus Lounge. I'm Gord Wilson, following a 5-3 loss to the Washington Capitals. In just a moment, we'll be joined by Senators goaltending coach, Pierre Grew. Please stay with us. All right, welcome back. As promised, Pierre Grew, the goaltending guru of the Ottawa Senators, joining us. Uh, thanks for doing this. I know we're in a bit of a hurry here. The Senators traveling to Toronto right after this uh, uh, for the second game of back-to-backers here. Uh, we anticipate uh, uh, Craig Anderson in goal tomorrow against the Leafs, but let's talk a little bit about this game and uh, specifically uh, your young goaltender, Marcus Hogberg, continues to shine. Took the loss here tonight, but my goodness, is he... Uh, is he displaying some skills? Yeah, you know what? The, the good thing with Marcus is that his willingness to learn and his willingness to um, habit, learn new habits and change his style sometimes and ju just do different things. And the great thing about Marcus, and especially last game against New Jersey, he made uh, 50 saves. Uh -huh. And he made incredible saves, but the goals he's given up is stuff that we can work on, we can yes. get better. And every day he's, he wants to get better and he wants that that compete level to to get to the next level and show that he belongs at this level. Pierre, is he one of those goaltenders? And I'm not sure if there, you can specifically point this out, uh, a quality of a goaltender, but he is, is he somebody who likes a lot of action? Those 53 shots that he faced on Monday night, that was, uh, that's a lot of mental concentration. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think a lot of goalies will tell you that sometimes getting more shots yeah. is easier because you're, you're in the game. You have no choice but to be in the game. But what he's done is that He's applied himself every single day in practice and his work ethic. And what he's, what he's done is he's gained the confidence of the, the players in the locker room. And the players, they, they want to see him grow. They want to see him get better. And he's, he started that last year in the American League. He, from Christmas on, he's yeah. probably the, one of the best goalies in the American League. And he's carried this on to here. And like he, he's got a one-way contract next year. He knows that he got, he's got to earn everything every day. And that's the co constant uh, communication with him is that we got to keep climbing and keep getting better and better every day. Interesting that you bring up the contract because, yeah, he will be a full-time goaltender with this hockey club next year. Um, what was the plan that you had going into this season after watching him from Christmas on in Belleville last year and really leading that team to a so, oh so close playoff position? Um, what were the things that you specified that you wanted to work with him on? I think Marcus's assets are his feet. His lateral mobility is okay. so good that we want to force the play down. So meaning that is that he, he had a tendency to have his gloves low. So we want to move his gloves up and keep his upper body as big as possible to force the plate down to his strength. So with that in mind here, and we've talked about this an awful lot on our broadcast, his blocker seems to be absolutely outstanding. He makes a lot of blocker saves. Yeah, you know what? Um, one thing we noticed is that early on in the year, he had a tendency to not trust his elbow and just have the blocker too much inside, so now he gave up some some far side action. Now is just making him as big. He's six foot five. He's yeah. not a small goaltender, but we want to make him as big as possible. And trusting that elbow, I know Ovechkin, probably one of the best scores in, in the NHL, got him today on the blocker shot. But it's just it's a matter of trusting that elbow that's going to do the work inside and leave them the blocker outside to make those outside saves. Okay, at the time of this interview uh, in Laval tonight, Belleville was defeated or was winning against uh, the Rockets by a 4-2 score, and Joey Decord was in goal. Uh, some might say an embarrassment of riches for the Ottawa Senators as far as depth is concerned uh, in goal. Joey Decord in tonight and I think he was 9-3-2 and two going into tonight's action. Uh, Philip Gustafson as well has uh, I think he's 4-0-1 in his last five games. Um, just a quick comment on those two. Well, one of the mandates when I came in four years ago is to improve the goaltending depth and with Trent Mann and, and obviously uh, our GM Pierre Dorion we we started drafting goaltenders and even kevin mandalay is the third best goal in the in the quebec major junior league right now but what joey has done and what gus has done in the american league is that it solidified the position once they lost hoggy because of nielsen's injury they yeah. were they didn't know where they were going but what what joey and gus have done is that they've solidified the position and it's a good problem to have to have yeah, too many absolutely. good goalies and right now what they're doing is they're competing off each other so good uh, Joey played tonight, Gus will play tomorrow, and then they, every weekend they're bouncing off each other, which is a great thing to have, and our future is getting better and better in that. Tell us about the uh, attitude of your 38-year-old goaltender in Craig Anderson. He continues to play extremely well, and I think attitude is everything because 
Um, he's in that situation where it's been there, done that, uh, as far as being a young goaltender pushing. Yeah, and he, he looks back at actually the first time we were together in Florida. He knows the situation. He knows the situation that Hoggy's in. And also with Nielsen was going through before he got injured, he wants to help these guys get better. And uh, sitting with Hoggy right beside me in between periods, he's always encouraging him and really just happy. talking to him and That's helping sad. him get along. He knows the end of the road is near, but with him is that he wants to compete every day to show that he can still play in this league. But he wants to help the future generation of other Ottawa Centers goaltenders. He's been here 10 years, but he keeps pushing these guys to get better and better every day. Uh, quick tell, uh, this will be rapid fire here. I want to get through a couple of subjects here before we let you go here. Uh, tell us about the pin on your uh, jacket. Well, my, my son was diagnosed when he was two years old, just under two with, uh, on the autism spectrum. So every year we like to... Um, we do a game here, and it's going to be late March okay. or so. Uh, we're going to have an autism awareness game to just to wear as awareness and help each other, help other people on, on the spectrum. There's Leo. Um, yeah, there, there's Leo right there. Boys, yeah. yep. And then um, it's just something that with with the hockey team has been very helpful and just helping each other out. And every year we bring about 10 to 12 kids that are on the spectrum to the hockey game. It's not something that's easy because sound sensitivity for kids on the spectrum is it's not easy. Right. But um, we're fortunate to get help early and we want to push people to get early intervention for kids on the spectrum. Outstanding. Good stuff. And uh, there will be another autism walk. Yeah, the, I, I believe uh, early June the walk is uh, usually at the Senseplex and uh, we, we have the Ottawa Centers team as, as you see and one of our, our great ambassadors and everybody knows Mark Borowiecki is always uh, helping us out to, to support the cause. All right, this doesn't interfere with PG Goalies Goalie School? Absolutely not. No, okay. <laughs> How many years is this in the running here? Uh, this is going to be year seven wow. and we okay. started that in, uh, when I was in Montreal in Southern Ontario and uh, we just like to, you know, we have kids from Newfoundland, uh, Yellowknife, uh, no from Taiwan, uh, wow. from Minnesota. So we have a bunch of kids come out and we just, um, we just like to get involved in the community and just um, help, uh, you know, it's become a big family, the PG's Goalies family, so it's, it's nice to help out the kids. Outstanding, yeah, you can follow it on Instagram as well. It's a lot of fun here. You also helped out with a DJ Smith practice that uh, uh, was auctioned off uh, at the soiree, I believe, and um, they needed a goaltender instructor and you volunteered for that. You know what? Anytime we can, in our position, give a, give back to the community and help the young kids. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you Good go. Stuff. Uh, you can help the young kids. Um, it's in our profile. It, we can help them anytime we can. I know we have a busy schedule, but anytime we can lend a hand, it's um, it's uh, the least we can do. That young man was not making those types of saves before he got your instruction. Well done. Thank you. You're rubbing off very quickly. All right. Quick thought on Toronto. What do we expect tomorrow against the Leafs? Um, you know what? They're obviously offensively skilled. We're going to have to limit their chances, but tonight in the second and third period, we did an outstanding job against one of the best teams in the league. The Battle of Ontario is always fun to, to be a part of, and um, you know what? Hopefully we can uh, put a few patch uh, Hutchison and get a, get a win in Toronto. Good stuff. Thank you for this, and good luck in Toronto. That'll do it for this edition of Senators All Access. Our next show comes up following Ottawa's next home game, which is Tuesday when Anaheim comes to town. I'm Gord Wilson. We'll see you then.